Welcome listeners to another episode of the show. I am your host with the most, Chris Source. I hope that you are having a beautiful day because I am definitely having a beautiful one. All right, you guys, let's get into it. All right, so on this episode, um, Tahiri Peterson may quit acting over payment, over pay, and treatment in the entertainment business. What? What? Yo, what? Yo, what the hell? Yo, what? What? Why are you? What? What? What happened? Bruh. What? What the hell is going on right here? I'm I'm sorry, folks. To all my listeners, the... yo, why are you sitting there laughing? What, what's the problem? What's the problem? All right, I don't know. People in the background are just fucking up. They're laughing. All right, so um. We're going to get right into the story. We're going to play um, an audio from you. Um, um, we're going to play an audio about how she feels about uh, the industry. All right, hit it. Just hit it real quick. Hey. Street Taraji, you had the audacity to say you're thinking about getting stopping acting. We said, stop talking. Hmm. Are you thinking about it? Um... Mm. I'm just tired of working so hard, being gracious at what I do, getting paid a fraction of the cost. Mm -hmm. I'm tired of hearing my sister say the same thing over and over. Mm -hmm. Um, you get tired. Mm -hmm. I hear people go, you work a lot. Yeah. Well, have to. Mm -hmm. The math ain't mathing. Mm -hmm. And when you start working a lot, you know, you have a team. Mm -hmm. Big bills come with what we do. Yes. We don't do this alone. The mm -hmm. fact that we're up is a whole entire team behind yes, us. Yes. They have to get paid. So when you hear someone saying, oh, such and such made $10 million. No, that's not that. That didn't make it to their account. Mm -hmm. Know that off the top. Uncle Sam is getting 50%. That's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So do the math. Now we have 5 million. Your team is getting 30% or whatever your team is off of what you grossed, Sometimes not more. after what Uncle Sam took. Now do the math. Mm -hmm. So I just, I'm, I'm, a, I'm only human. And, and mm -hmm. it seems every time I do something and I break another glass ceiling, when it's time to renegotiate, I'm at the bottom again. Mm -hmm. Like I never mm -hmm. did what mm -hmm. I just did. And I'm just mm -hmm. tired. tired. I'm tired. Mm -hmm. I'm tired. Okay. I, I get I, I I get with it. So um Yeah, you get you, you give me a dummy buzzer. <laughs> and I wanna say this and um <laughs> I wanna make this perfectly clear. <laughs> Would you stop that? Would you stop that? Let me finish first. I am, and this is probably the only time you're probably going to hear me apologize on the show. I am apologizing to Taraji. I said it right. Taraji P. Henderson for the way I pronounce her name. Everybody sitting there in the background. Y'all not in the studio, but everybody in the background sitting there laughing at me because of the way that I pronounce her name. Now, Taraji, I am very sorry that I mispronounced your name. But let's get back into um, let's get back into this topic. All right, let's get back into this topic. All right, so I'm gonna drop my view and my opinion on this. Um, what I have to say is this. Uh. So Raji P. Henderson is not the first to air this. This is just some of uh, what 
um, an interview that she had did. Yeah, now this is nothing new about what have been ha- happening to actresses within uh, the acting community. But um, I'm going to just give y'all a little update for my listeners. I don't know if y'all seen this. Ep- I don't know if y'all know who this woman is. But I'm, I'm going to give y'all a little info on her. Now, um, if I'm correct, uh, I think she was born in like the 70s sometimes. And it's somewhere in the 70s, but uh, uh, if I can remember, she was like, I think she was, uh, I don't know if she received an award, but I know that she was nominated for a Golden Grammy Award. Um, I know, like, she's a steady actor. She, she, uh, she, what was the movie that she started? Uh, Hustle and Flow. She starred in um, Hustle, Hustle, Hustle and Flow. Give her a pause for that. She started in Hustle and Flow. I think she was good in Hustle and Flow. Um, she starred in another movie. She starred in another movie that was big. Um, uh, what was it? She starred in Benjamin. She was in Benjamin Button. Okay, uh, I think she was in another movie. Uh, I know she was in Baby Boy. She was, uh, she was in Baby Boy. Um, she was in Think Like a Man. Um, I think she, uh, I think she started in Karate Kid. I think she was in Karate Kid. Yeah, I think she was in Karate Kid. And she made uh, a couple... I think she made a couple of diff- different um, TV appearances or a different series. But she made different appearances on different uh, TV shows as well. Like, she has a very, um, I would say, exclusive... Uh, not exclusive, but I would say lengthy lengthy catalog as far as uh, being in the acting industry. So, uh, let's give it a five. But, um, I will say, she's been in a lot of movies. She's appeared on a lot of TV shows. Um, she's, uh, uh, also appeared on a lot of, uh, like, uh, daytime talk shows and stuff like that. Um, um, what is she on, uh, what's this, uh, I think she was on Steve Harvey, right? Wasn't she, was she on Steve Harvey? And also, um, what's this other girl's name? I can't forget, I can't, uh, remember her name right now. I know I started with a K, though. But, um, I can't re- remember her name right now. But I know she, she, she has appeared on a lot of different uh, platforms and stuff like that. But she has cried the same thing that so many different celebrities have cried out. It's not just her. Angela Bassett cried this uh, same tone. Um, Let's not forget about a whole bunch of different actresses throughout the years who have said that they wasn't being treated right within um, Hollywood. Hollywood does pay females less. This is something that's known. This is not something that's new. So Taraji coming out with this and then crying about it. I mean, listen, uh, 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 my personal opinion, I'm saying, but you know, boohoo uh, and uh, you know, like all that good stuff. Yeah, but so many women 
before have cried out in the industry that they were not being treated fair. Okay, Monique went on a whole protest. Now, y'all remember Monique, right? Can we all remember Monique? Do we all remember Monique, right? We all remember her, right? Okay, cool. So, we all remember Monique going through that phase. Okay, we can all recall on so many different levels of entertainment where women feel like they are not being paid fairly. Due to the uh, um, the effort and the, uh, I guess the creativity that they gave to the industry. Now I'm not. I, I, now listen. With me, it's like this. When they come to acting and stuff, I think you should be paid as far as any other thing in entertainment that you should be paid by your performance. That's what I think. You should be paid by your performance. Do I think uh, that one, like a male comedian should be paid more than a female comedian? No. Do I think a male actress should be paid more than a female actress? No. I think if it, it, it depends on how you bring it in. You know what I'm saying? So, there are certain names in that industry that will bring sales to the movie, even if it's a crappy movie. I mean, come on. Let, let's be honest. Will Smith and his son. What what movie did they do? Some Something Earth or whatever, but they did. They both did a crappy movie. But the name Smith brought, brought a lot of people to watch that movie. You know what I'm saying? Now, do I think, like I said, I'm a two-headed coin. Do I also think that uh, Taraji should have probably got paid more for this uh, color purple thing. I haven't really seen it, but I have seen uh, a couple of clips of it, and I have seen how Oprah Winfrey, you know what I'm saying, has treated her, and how Oprah Winfrey has, I, I guess, it, in, in my opinion sort of made so certain people got underpaid. Now, this has happened before plenty of times in that type of industry. There has been times where certain people, certain superstars, certain uh, entertainers, like you know, Jim Carrey, uh, just to name a few, Jim Carrey, Keanu Reeves, uh, Denzel Washington. Um, what was that other guy's name? What's his name? Yeah, Jet Lee. Jackie Chan. Also. Who um, have paid people on uh, movie sets because they felt that they were being underpaid. So some people some actors and actresses were willing to sacrifice a certain amount of money of their pay to make sure that these other people on the set and other stuff like that got paid because uh, this woman is completely right. When you do these movies and when you do these things and when you hear this, that these movies are making 10 and, and, and 50 and, 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 and uh 50 and 60 billion dollars and million dollars and all that stuff and all that stuff like that. It is not the actresses or actors that are getting paid that amount of money. It is the investors who are getting back the money that they invested into the uh, the film or into the movie. 
into paying the director, into all of this. I mean, Mel Gibson made it perfectly clear when he did The Passion of Christ, all right? Let's be honest here. Let's be honest. Bruh. Yes. He made it perfectly clear when he did that movie. Actors and actresses do not get paid as much as some people think that they do. But at the same time, people. Message. No celebrity and no celebrity get paid as much as you think that they do. None. None. Because you got to think. I'm going to just drop a bomb on you real quick. Can I drop a bomb in your ear real quick? You got to think the chain of ladder. You are just an actor. People are, when you are an actor or an actress, people are investing in you and investing in uh, a movie. So you got to think of it like this. Okay, I got to get people to invest in to the movie. Then I got to hire you to do the movie. After all that, the government is taking taxes from both of us. Not only are they taking taxes from both of us, they're taking taxes from the people that invested in the movie. When they get that money back. That was the wrong one. Message. There we go. So nobody's receiving the money that you think they're receiving. Some of these people in the entertainment industry, like I've said it before and I'll say it again. Some of these people in the entertainment industry, they do not live the life that you see. Or they perceive that they're living. They're not living it. A lot of them are sitting and struggling because some of them don't get scripts or movies for two or three years. But some of them for months and years at a time. So if I can't find no gig, you know what I'm saying? Then what am I living off of? You know what I mean? Like, Bruh. for real. So Jir- Taraji Peterson, uh, we still got o- some audio on it. I don't know if you want to play audio on that. I just gave my view and my whole opinion of that because I think she's 100% right. Should she quit the business? I don't know if she should quit the business. I don't, I don't think, um, in my opinion, I don't think um, that would probably be her best move. But then again, I'm not her. So, I think... Uh, you know what I think? I'm, I'm going to take that back. You know what I think? I think whatever she thinks is the best move for her life and what she should do, uh, th- that's what she should do. Message. All right, for real. All right, so we're going to get into a little bit more of this um, this interview. Hit it, Ed. Hit it. Yeah. And what does it tell me? Mm. Yeah, you know. And if I can't fight for them coming up behind me, then what the fuck am I doing? I'm sorry. Yeah, mm. yeah no, don't apologize. <sighs> don't apologize. I I think it's an important message for people to hear because we see the lights, camera, action, yep, yep, yep. and then and they it's tell so me we don't yes. translate overseas. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm tired of hearing that my entire career, 20 plus years in the game. And I hear the same thing and I see what you do for another production. And when it's time for us to go to bed, you don't have any money. Mm. They play in your face. Mm-hmm. And I'm just supposed to smile and grin and bear it and just keep like mm-hmm. enough is enough. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's why I have other things. I have my TPH brand. I have my mental wellness. I have other things because this industry, if you let it, mm-hmm. it'll steal your soul. Yeah. But I refuse to let that happen. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
there's a song in there. Ooh, hey, you might have this going on for another 20 minutes. <laughs> but it is it is very true. It's very true. What this woman is, is saying and what she has just said, many actors and actresses have said for so many years, this woman has been 20 years in the business. She's been working her soul, working her body to the core. And it's true. It's true. She, she just let you know. She's just letting you know. She's letting you know. And hey, give her an applause. Please give her an applause. No, do it again. Yes. So definitely give her an applause because she is one of those who did not sell out, who did not sell their souls, who did not sell out. They didn't sell a soul to the industry. And it shows you how the industry treats them. Give her an applause. Thank you. Thank you. And yeah, that's what she's, she, she's showing you. One of those who did, this is one of the actresses who did not sell their soul at 20 years in the game, but chose not to go to those parties, not to hang out at certain events, not to do this, not to, not to involve themselves with such things as Teddy Diddy. Okay? Not as Teddy Diddy. She didn't get involved with Teddy Diddy. But, like I said, y'all know this one from, um, a lot of movies, numerous movies, numerous TV shows. She's made numerous performances. Yeah, I know how she came up with a, uh, uh, I think she was young. I think she was a teenager when she had a child. Had to head out, head out, sort the industry. Got in the industry, but did not see into that satanic part of the industry and this is how they treat you when you are not a part of that part of the industry you know how it is and you and now and you pointed the sign out earlier Ed that now now that you point that out yeah that's probably why Oprah blackballed her the way that she did because she refused to join that part of the industry. That part of the industry, which I know I'm talking about, but you know, that part of the industry, she decided not to join. Bruh. Yeah. Yeah, but that part, she decided not to take part in. And they probably been bashing her since she did not want to do that. But listen, girl, hold your head up. Keep it moving. Keep it going. And that's how I would tell uh, this woman and any woman in her situ situation. Keep your head up. Keep it moving. Don't let them bash you down. Don't let them take you down. They've been trying to do it for this long. My dear, they have not, apparently, they have not succeeded because her name is still relevant. Her name is still relevant. It's still relevant. She didn't, she didn't jump in the pool, but her name is still relevant. 
and people still want to cast her as an actress and it's very hard when you're you're in that place and you're trying to be cast as an actress and this is 20 years later i mean come on how old is this woman she's like 40 something right yeah she's about 40 something 40 40 and change they don't really like it and i'm just being honest in this industry in the film industry they don't really like women like 40 years old 50 years old they try to cast them out they try to boot them out they don't want them that old they don't want them that old even if you see the interview which i just um i just played a brief brief part of it but even when you watch this interview you can check it out on in, uh, on youtube it's on your social media platform youtube and facebook you can check it out you can see she has gained weight you can see she's gained weight now whether it was for the film or not okay her age will always play a part in it with female actresses your age will always play a part in it if you do your research one of the last like i've done my research you do your research i'm telling this to all my listeners if you really do your research one of the last and this is one of the last shows shows that have uh, succeeded to a high amount of success okay with within their shows as far as people being old was the golden girls i don't know if y'all if my listeners know that uh you hit it, man. Why are you always hitting it, man? Late, yeah. Why are you always hitting it, man? Late. It's very sad. The girl that was here last week, she was way better than you, man. I fired her and rehired her in the same same session. She was going better. Than you. She might replace you, bro. She might replace you, bro. Yeah, yeah, bro. Oh yeah. But let me get back. Let me get back to the show. But, I mean, for any of my listeners that's out there that's older, the last show, the last show that really did it, as far as being within the old age, was, like, the Golden Girls. As far as females, let me say that, as far as females, was the Golden Girls. Okay? And I know, I know it, what you say? Oh, no, nowhere near that. Nowhere near that. Nowhere near that. Okay, I have my non I have my melanin bra hair, Sean. I we, we ain't big him up, but what up, Sean? What up? He stepped in on a, a, a later note, but he just said, um, what did he say? Queen Latifah show? What did he just say? Yeah, the Queen Latifah show. No. No, living single, no. No, living single did not get the ratings that Golden Girls got. It, yes, with those, those those three, four old ladies. Oh, yes, they got higher ratings than um, Queen Latifah living single. Please, bro. Please, bro. Please, don't. Come on, man. Don't, don't do this to me. Don't. Bruh. Not right now. We'll we'll discuss this off Bruh. air. We'll discuss this off air. Let me stay focused on the show. Mind your business. Before I actually step out. Yeah, I will actually step out. But listen, what this this, this woman is going through has been going through and and I'll say it again, has been going through in this industry for so long. Especially as far as women. And it has gone through, through through each platform. Now, sports is different. Sports is different. 
but I don't know. You tell me what you think. So all my listeners, y'all tell me what y'all think as far as this situation going on. You tell me what you think. I mean, y'all tell me what you think. I do think uh, Oprah Winfrey did sort of um, uh, blackball her. I do think she sort of blackball. Bruh. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. All right, listen. I'm a, um. We gonna we gonna wrap this up. All right, listen. If you like this content and want to hear more of it, y'all already know what to do. Hit that subscribe, hit that like, and hit that share button. Also, no, hit that like, subscribe, <laughs> hit that subscribe. Like, don't, don't you? Cause you mess with me. Stop, 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 stop. Don't mess with me. Hit that subscribe, like. Stop, 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 stop. Hit that subscribe. Hit that like. Y'all can't, y'all don't see what these idiots are doing behind the scenes. I wish we had a camera. Well, no, I don't wish we had a camera. But these idiots, and y'all can't hear it because of the background music. But there are some idiots in here right now, and they are doing stupid pranks during the time when they shouldn't, during the business time. And, uh, whatever. All right, listen. Let's finish this off. <laughs> Hit that subscribe. Hit that like button. Um, also, leave a comment and don't be afraid to share. Okay? Uh, I want to thank all my listeners for tuning in. You could have been anywhere else in the world, but you are here with me. And I so, so appreciate that. Also, stay blessed and not stressed. Until next episode, folks. I see y'all later. Also, I see y'all later. Peace out.